Okay, so here you see that the listed price is 69 cents. All right. There's a whole bunch of offers on here. This one's 69 cents. This was 50 cents with free delivery, but it's later on in December. It was closer to my daughter's birthday, so I didn't use that. But there are multiple options here. You can see 204 with free delivery, 25 cents, but 299 delivery. This is a gimmick that they use when people pay attention to the price for the item itself and don't pay attention to shipping. They don't realize that they're actually getting charged more, not less. They're actually not getting the deal they think they are. It's it's a common market tactic for salesmen to make money off of gullible people who aren't paying attention properly. It's called black hat marketing, black hat marketing technique. So there's that. But as you can see on here, the total that I was charged was 204. So here's the order details. Item was 199. Now I remember seeing the 69 cent price. I don't remember paying two dollars for this. And then when I saw that I was charged two dollars for this, I went back and looked at it and went, wait a minute, that shouldn't be right. And I checked and sure enough, it's supposed to be 69 cents. Now if you look, this is the source here is, is Magic the Gathering Store. I don't know how I ended up on somebody else's page for that, but uh, apparently I did. And I re highly regret that. And now I'm going to have to order from here because um, when I contacted them about this, all they had to say was, if you want to return the card for a full refund, we'd be happy to do so. Now, if you don't actively price and buy magic cards, you don't know that it's pretty much an industry standard among, among ethical sellers that if you show them that they are actually overpricing their product, they will fix it. There are active lists available from the Magic the Gathering store for uh, these cards to know what the going price is for the card, even if you don't look at what the price is on Amazon, to know whether or not you're getting a good market price. But any ethical seller will give you the going market price if you let them know that they are overselling their card. I've been buying magic cards for many many years now over a decade and even when I was looking at them decades ago I think I started getting into this stuff when I was 16 years old over at the local swap meet basically swap meet and farmers market he kept his integrity whenever I tested him if I showed him that something was overpriced, he would give me the price. In fact, he actually is the one who originally gave me the links to the market listings for the prices for cards and, and card products. He was the one who actually told me where to find out whether or not his prices were good and told me to let him know if something had, had changed and he was overpricing on any of his cards. And some of his prices were actually under market value. But this seller, when I notify them that they are overpricing their cards, only offers me a refund, and I have to return the card in order to get it. He's not just going to refund me the difference between $0.69 cents and the $2 that he charged me. So, that's rather pathetic, I think. So, you can do what you want about that, but I highly recommend against buying from Reed Collectibles, because they are not good integrity sellers.